so let's talk about hdri lighting in this video now this is a very very important video for all the creators so let's get started all right so first of all we are going to create a very basic level of scene so go to file new level and i'm just going to create an empty level just press don't save and after that let's go to this environment light and mixer and let's create all this necessary stops going down you need to find this option called volumetric fog and also select the directional light and simply type OCC this is called occlusion pass so just turn this on after that let's create a landscape so click here and landscape I have already imported an height map over here simply make the value to 2 and just place import so we have our height map right over here now I'm just going to apply the material and for the material I'm going to use fab you will find out this called material and textures simply click here but also you can simply type quixel just over here and press enter so this will basically help you to grab all the quixel mega scan textures now in the price sections simply use the free so all the materials right now which you can see it's all are free so let's use this mossy rock and this already comes in a high quality so just press add to project it will automatically download and import it in your my library in your unreal engine and uh, here you can find after the mega scan this is our new material so simply select this landscape going down just drag and drop this to here and after that simply double click and over the tiling material just make it to 0.1 press save now to enable nanite tessellation simply type nanite just check this nanite enable and build data so now you can find out a little bit of displacement over here but going down you can also find called displacement scaling simply turn this on so if you make it to 2 the displacement are increasing but there is a catch if you notice a very weird kind of a shadow over here so you need to add one console in this console command panel simply click and just press ctrl v and just press enter by the way i have already pasted this in my description box below just simply copy and paste it just once you enter you can find out all the you know that uh, weird kind of a patchiness it's gone and i'm just going to add a character to create some world real world scale so this will always help you to understand where exactly your character is so just go to this meshes and i'm just going to import one character so first of all i'm just uh, using a one asset from this uh, modular science sci-fi and just simply select the static meshes so just drag and drop one asset here so what i'm think i'm going to use this place and just rotate this to here and i'm just make a little bigger because this should become very large from this character because if you think of this character this will go here so this this looks pretty big so i just move the character right in front of the camera so the real world scale looks perfect all right so now let's create a new camera so click here and you can find create camera cine camera actor and just pin it and after that i'm just going to change few settings here so let's change it to dslr and in the lens section let's change it to 12 millimeter but after that i'm just going to increase the focal length to 20 millimeter and going down just uh, change the crop to 2.239 so this is my current scene all right so now let's create some very uh, less amount of foliages which can cover the entire ground so for the foliages simply go to this uh, foliages section and here i'm just going to import few foliages from my asset pack so i have few grasses uh, right over here on my temple of columbia assets just simply drag and drop and i'm just going to select all and just jump back from the camera view but i'm just putting the trees randomly so let's do it so first of all what i'm going to do just turn off the single instance mode but you can find it's pretty huge so just decrease the shape and once you start drawing you can find out the assets comes like this and this not looks that great so what i'm going to do i'm just going to delete this asset and also this one so i'm going to use this three and the minimum should be 0.5 and the maximum height should be one and after that this is the density so just change it to 15 and now let's paint it and okay this looks cool but if you notice from the character the height is uh, pretty pretty high for this so let's control z and let's decrease it to 0.5 and change it to 0.1 and now in to play yep this scale is pretty perfect now increase the density to 100 and now once you play or like uh, paint this looks pretty pretty so uh, for the trees i'm going to use this european beech trees because these trees are actually high quality trees just drag and drop and after that jump back from the camera view select the camera right over here and just pin it so that you can see it always select a tree 
and make sure the scale should be pretty high and also I'm just going to push this tree a little far so that it will always become you know depth of field kind of a thing and also a little bigger only on this direction now to cover the entire scene I'm going to use tree on this area as well but not in that depth in a different depth so this is my basic scene which I'm going to create so the scene creation is done now let's work on the lighting so first we don't need this volumetric cloud and the skylight so just turn this off also the sky atmosphere so we have one directional light and exponential height and fog so just turn this both off so you can have only this light now we are going to use HDRI so go to light and click this HDRI backdrop and suddenly your scene start illuminating but if you notice there's a palette kind of a thing simply click and push it down 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 and you can find out it's already moved a little back also you can find out here as well but the size is very less so just increase the size to 5000 or 50000 so that the entire BG is completely in far very very far so already you can see your scene started uh, become lighting and this looks very high pretty cool but the artificial lights you can feel over here so now I'm just going to browse some HDRIs and I'm just going to put those HDRIs in this scene and let me show you how HDRIs exactly work for this kind of shots so that you can light any scene, any anything which you will create. So just simply drag and drop one HDRI and suddenly we notice the entire lighting positions are changed. But before doing anything, let's create some post process volume so that they can control the exposure. So simply select the post process volume, click here and type infinite bound so the spelling is wrong infinite bound just turn this on close this and you can find this called bloom just turn this both on exposure should turn on and uh, this one also and just simply select this two and make it to one by one so now your exposure is locked no one can change your exposure now simply select the HDRI and once you rotate this you can suddenly see the skies are rotating background of your scene but if you notice the light and the foreground light like the background light and the foreground light are not interacting each other pretty well also I'm just going to share you one high light scene so this is a different light and if you notice the lights are interacting with the scene but not the ground if you notice the grounds are not interacting not uh, like uh, appropriate way so what you can do you can simply once you finalize your HDRI like for example if you finalize that this HDRI will work for you so first of all add just the lighting direction and all then what you need to do go to the select the skylight and click here and use specific cube map just drag and drop to this here now suddenly if you notice this will interact with the ground shadows and all so basically uh, the skylight will work with the same HDRI in a same rotation panel so what happened when you use the secondary mode that will control the shadow area so what I'm going to share you just turn this off then suddenly see the shadows are changed and once you select the specific cube map the shadows are different so now first select our HDRI to make your scene more real so select this HDRI backdrop and let's find out what kind of HDRI will suit for the scene so I'm going to use this HDRI because this HDRI have already a very decent level of background so that this will cover my entire BG it will not feel like it's suddenly this end so we have also a very good amount of light source which is coming right from here so now the magic trick will come select the skylight and I'll just disable this first so that the entire scene will lighten up in a normal way now just turn on the directional light over here and suddenly you see the scene got completely changed so first of all I'm just jump back to my cine camera actor view and once I select this directional light if you see the light directions are exactly same from the HDRI so if you press ctrl L you can actually change the light direction which can actually match with our scene so let's select it and let's match the light directions and okay this looks perfect now after that what I'm going to teach you which is first simply select the directional light actor so just press F so this is directional light actor and that light directions are coming exactly same from the HDRI light source which is perfect now select the directional light and select the HDRI backdrop and now you can rotate both together how let me show you so first of all I'll just select the cine camera actor pin it 
and again select the directional light select the HDRI backdrop and now look at the scene over here and once you rotate the entire light setups are changing together it means HDRI light and directional light are moving together and this will give you a very very realistic light setup in your scene now there's a fun fact and also a pro tips do not place your sunlight directly in front of the camera always put it in a 45 degree angle or on a different direction angle but do not put it completely in front of your camera so let's put it on let's say this direction or let's say on this direction so now if you notice very uh, good amount of light is coming up right from here now just turn on the exponential height and fog suddenly your scene got some depth and if you want you can modify the depth also like 0 0.01 or let's say only 0.1 so this will give you a proper depth but i don't think this scene need a proper depth because we have already good amount of depth over here now going down you can find this called volumetric fog you can simply increase or decrease the volumetric fog intensity also the extraction scale so this will give you a proper cinematic shots but in the albedo color select this click the dropper dropper and just click the sky color so that the volumetric color are exactly same like the environmental color now in the post process volume going down you can find this called vignette effect simply turn this both on so that this will create some you know dark edges from this background this will create a very good of cinematic shots now going down you can also find some color grading palettes as well and also a lens flare so simply turn this lens flare on and also the color grading palette so in the global just increase the saturations to 1.2 and also in the contrast section let's make it little cinematic so just put it in different color grading mode that looks perfect and now just jump back to your cine camera actor and this is your scene so whenever you feel like you want to change your scene something like that you can simply select the directional light and HDRI light backdrop and you can rotate it so yes that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed this very short and simple HDRI and also side by side landscape creation video hopefully you like this video if yes then make sure subscribe to our channel see you next video till then keep watching keep rocking world of effects